Space Christmas tree from NASA. NASA scientists got into the holiday spirit when they published a photo of the NGC 2264 cluster, also known as the Christmas tree cluster. NGC 2264 is a cluster of young stars located about 2,500 light years from Earth. The photo shows the object from such a perspective that it resembles a Christmas tree. The NGC 2264 cluster in the image released by NASA resembles a Christmas tree in the glow of starlight. NGC 2264 is actually a cluster of young stars between about 1 and 5 million years old. It is located approximately 2,500 light-years from Earth in the constellation of the Unicorn. The stars in the cluster are of different sizes. There will be both smaller and larger than the Sun. The image was created by combining several photos. The blue and white lights that flash in the animated version of the image, below at about 16 seconds, are young stars emitting X-rays detected by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. Optical data from the National Science Foundation's 0.9-meter WIYN telescope on Kitt Peak shows gas in the nebula appearing green. In turn, the stars visible in the foreground were imaged in infrared and this image comes from the 2-micron All-Sky Survey. This photo has been rotated clockwise about 160 degrees from the astronomical standard of north facing upwards, so that the top of the tree appears to be pointing toward the top of the photo. Young stars in NGC 2264 flare strongly in X-rays. They also show other changes observed in different radiation ranges. In the image, in its animated version, the coordinated flash imitating Christmas lights is artificial to emphasize the object's resemblance to a Christmas tree. Scholars have also slightly colored the picture. The differences observed by the Chandra Observatory and other telescopes are caused by several different processes. Some of them are related to the activity of magnetic fields, including flares similar to those experienced by the Sun, but much more powerful. Others are related to hot spots and dark areas on the surfaces of stars that appear and disappear as they rotate. Molecular air hammers a new method of destroying cancer cells has been developed. A group of researchers have discovered a new way to destroy tumors. To do this, they use the ability of some molecules to vibrate very strongly when stimulated with infrared light. This stimulation causes their vibrations to synchronize which is enough to rupture the membranes of cancer cells. This method was 99% effective against laboratory cultures of human melanoma cells. A team of scientists from Rice University, Texas A&M University and the University of Texas have discovered a new way to destroy cancer cells. 
The method involves stimulating aminocyanine molecules with near-infrared light, causing synchronized vibrations that destroy the cell membranes of cancer cells. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Nature Chemistry. Aminocyanin is a fluorescent synthetic dye used in medical imaging to detect cancer. It is stable in water and adheres well to the outside of cells. These are simple dyes that people have been using for a long time, says Ciceron Ayala or Rosco of Rice University, lead author of the study. They are biocompatible, stable in water and attach very well to the outer fatty lining of cells. But although they have been used for imaging, we did not know how to activate them as plasmons until now, he adds. This is a completely new generation of molecular machines, which we call molecular jackhammers says chemist James Tor of Rice University. Their mechanical motion is over a million times faster than previous Feringer engines and can be activated using near-infrared light rather than visible light, he adds. The mentioned Feringer engines are a previously developed type of molecular machines that kill cancer cells by breaking down their structure. The use of near-infrared light is extremely important. It allows scientists to penetrate deeper into the body. This means that it would be possible to treat cancers of bones or other organs without the need for surgery. Near-infrared light can penetrate the human body to a depth of up to 10 cm, compared to the penetration depth of visible light which is only half a centimeter, Tour points out. In tests on cancer cells grown in the laboratory, the molecular jackhammer method showed 99% success rate. Effectiveness in destroying cancer cells. This approach was also tested in mice with melanoma. After therapy, approximately half of the animals recovered. The structure and properties of aminocyanine molecules cause them to stay in sync with a stimulus, such as near-infrared light. While in motion, electrons inside molecules create so-called plasmons, collectively vibrating units that drive motion throughout the molecule, due to their structure and chemical properties. The nuclei of these molecules can oscillate synchronously under the influence of an appropriate stimulus. We used it as a form of treatment. The molecular plasmons we identified have an almost symmetrical structure with a distinct shoulder on one side. This arm does not participate in plasmonic motion but helps anchor the molecule to the lipid cell membrane, explains Ayala or Rosco. This is the first case of using a molecular plasmon in this way to excite an entire molecule and actually create a mechanical action to achieve a specific goal, in this case. Tearing the membrane of cancer cells. This study looks at a different way of treating cancer using mechanical forces on a molecular scale, Ayala or Rosco emphasizes. The research is still in its early stages, but the preliminary findings are extremely promising. The developed method is a type of simple biomechanical technique against which it would be difficult for cancer cells to develop a blockade.
Scientists are also looking at other types of molecules that can be used in a similar way.